a Tarao River port. The following office buildings are available to support the port staff. Three-story office with a 100-seat dining room. Two-story office of 700 square meters for staff. Two-story office of 250 square meters for staff. Container buildings for staff. Autonomous gas boiler house. Potable water supply system with emergency water reserve of 600 cubic meters. The river port was opened in Buryev in 1926. Its main activity was river transportations by the Ural River and the Caspian Sea. In 2009-2010, the port's capacity was fully reconstructed in accordance with international standards. The port is capable of handling vessels of any type suitable for passage through the Ural-Caspian Canal. During the 2009-2010 reconstruction period, berthing walls, infrastructure facilities, auxiliary buildings and structures were rebuilt and life support systems were completely renewed. Seven sunken vessels from the water area of the Ural River were raised and directed for utilization. Lifting of vessels was a major environmental project implemented jointly with the regional Akimat. Consortium Isker was the funding and coordinating party for this project, and the technical contractor was the river port. The modern port covers an area of 10.69 hectares. The length of the coastline is 540 meters. Length of berths, 210 meters. The berth itself consists of two parts, commercial and loading. The loading berth with the length of 110 meters is designed for transshipment of large-sized and large-capacity cargoes. The adjoining territory of the loading berth is equipped with a reinforced concrete platform with the area of 1,257 square meters, designed for the work of heavy cranes, as well as reinforced concrete platform with the area of 3,830 square meters for transshipment of goods. The 100-meter-long commercial berth is designed for ships engaged in transportation of general cargo. The commercial berth is adjoined by a technological platform made of airfield plates with a total area of 3,036 square meters, which allows to perform any transport operations on land. This berth is equipped with a gantry crane with a lifting capacity of 16 tons with boom length of 32 meters. In addition to berthing facilities, the port is equipped with a concreted platform with a total area of 31,320 square meters. These facilities allow to perform any work on cargo storage, assembly of large size modules and structures. For close storage of cargoes, a heated indoor warehouse of 1,200 square meters equipped with an overhead crane with the capacity of 5 tons as well as a non-heated hangar of 450 square meters was built. The port is powered by two independent feeders through two PTS with a capacity of 1,600 kilovolts amper each. As a source of reserve power supply, three gas piston generators AGP315 with total capacity of 945 kilovolt tamper are installed. Power supply to remote electric power panels of GFAS company for connection of any electrical devices and equipment with capacity up to 160 kilovolt tamper each is organized on the whole area of concreted assembly storage sites. After resumption of its work after reconstruction, the port, together with the SCARE consortium and its partners, completed the contract for manufacturing, assembly and delivery of 12 modular buildings of the offshore complex of Kashigan oil field. 
As a result of this project, large size modules with total weight of 1,893 tons and six non self propelled barges were shipped from the berths of the port to the island D of Kashigan Field. In 2011, works and regular delivery of materials and equipment for Agib contractors engaged in construction and development of Kashigan Field on artificial islands were started. Between 2011 and 2014, a total of 27,923 tons of equipment and materials were delivered on 126 barges. In May 2011, the Omsky 105 dry cargo ship delivered to the port of Atarao large size process equipment and turbines to expand the capacity of Atarao CHPP with a total weight of 656 tons. During October and November 2012, six non-self-propelled barges with 5,444 tons of large size and large capacity cargo intended for reconstruction of the Atirao refinery were transshipped through the port berths. The port also accepted the cargo arrived at Tengiz Royal a barge weighing 631 tons. In 2020, the Aturel River port received six barges with 25 equipment units with a total weight of about 4,000 tons, including a propane storage tank and a propane dehydrogenation reactor for the KPI gas and chemical complex project on Karbatan. The transportation of cargo from the river port to Karbatan was carried out by Sorens, which is able to unload with heavy cranes of 1,250 tons and self-propelled modular conveyors. There are three main cargo routes to the Caspian Sea at the exit from the UCC, along the Caspian Sea to the island seaports of Kazakhstan, Aktau, Bautina, and Kurik, through the Caspian Sea to the ports of the neighboring states, Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, and Iran along the Volga River to enter the unified deep water transport system of the European parts of Russia, consisting of the Volga Don Canal, the White Sea Baltic Canal, and the Volga Baltic Waterway. In 2020, dredging works on the mouth of the Ural Caspian Channel have been performed. There appeared a possibility of full cargo transportation through this channel. Now, the river port of Atarao can accept up to 15,000 tons of cargo annually and become the transshipment point for servicing the delivery of materials and equipment for the oil company, both for the Kashigan offshore field and the onshore field on Karabatan and Tengiz.